Hello, welcome. Welcome to meditation and today I would like to do exactly that meditation. Um, you don't need any experience, um, I will be guiding you through, but what I'd love you to prepare is a possibility for you to sit upright and what I mean with that is not to pull yourself straight but to be in a relaxed and natural curve of your spine when you're seated. Now there's there several ways of getting there. If you're quite a uh, challenge sitting on the floor like this as you're rounding backwards, maybe a tightness in the hips or the back, um, I suggest you might come up onto a chair instead. And um, if that's not working for you, you would prefer to be on the ground, you can lean, you know, against the cupboard or the wall and maybe pop something underneath the buttocks just to make sure that you are actually comfortable. Um, for me, it is important to lift my hips a bit off the ground so my legs can relax and you can choose there an easy pose or a Japanese seat. Um, I've got a, a little cheating tool here, that's my meditation stool. So I'll be using that, but before we're going there, I encourage you to come onto all fours for a moment. And assuming you haven't moved your body much, if you have, you can just simply skip these instructions, come straight into sitting. But otherwise, let's do a few rounds of cat and cow, breathing in to lift tail and gaze. And breathing out to round into the back. Nothing too fast, nothing too slow. Do a few rounds and if you can think of it, allow the elbows to soften as you're breathing in and opening your front and then the arms to straighten again when you're breathing out to round into the cat. So once you've done a few of those you might feel, oh that's nice but I would really like to then follow that. So I've already started to poke my hip out a bit to the sides and you might just feel like some freestyle movements and you could have any type of stretches forward, back or into your sides or whatever feels right and just allowing yourself to move freely. And if you don't have any sensations that you're following like myself, you might choose a circular movement and just making sure you're going in both directions if that is the case. Once you've had enough movements that allow you then to find stillness and um, be there for a bit, um, use your setup, <laughs> whichever one that is for yourself. Um, if you are ever curious about those, I can um, tell you more about it, just send me a message. Otherwise, um, having your own support, it's very simple. A chair, a cushion, a couple of blocks, whatever that might be. And I will ask you to sit so comfortably that nothing can knock you over, as this meditation is all about the mountain. So once you've found um, that upright seat that works for yourself, you can rest your hands down into your lap or onto your thighs. For the better outcome of a posture, it might be nice to turn the palms of the hands upwards. But sometimes we get a feeling here of being a little bit too exposed. If that feeling sits somewhere within you or something is telling you, I really need to rest my palms down, then do so. Um, jhana or chin mudra, depending on whether the hands are facing up or down, is my suggestion for this meditation, which means you then touch your thumbs and index finger together. So hands restful, shoulders, let them shrug down into their sockets feeling your tall spine, but even more important that you're feeling quite centered in your seat and of course effortless. If you can't close your eyes today, just steady the gaze straight ahead of you so the spine stays aligned on a solid spot. And the same really applies if you are closing your eyes. Center your gaze, your inner drishti, 
choosing a focal point. In meditation, it's often either recommended to roll the eyes gently up to look from the inside to your third eye point or just beyond the tip of your nose. Notice for a moment before we start with the um, meditation if you're holding on anywhere. There's a likelihood you could hold on in your jaw. If that's the case, you might move the jaw. Oh, sorry, and a yawn might escape. And then allowing the tip of your tongue to rest gently onto the space just behind your top teeth. But allowing the tongue itself to soften into the mouth. And that's already again encouraging the relaxation response. Now, once you have entered your perfect position, bring your awareness to sensing your body. Taking some time to become aware to become aware of the symphony of sensations emanating from your being. And that announcing the existence of the body. While tuning in to bodily sensations, allowing the opportunity to soften or release areas where unnecessary tension might still be there and taking away your attention. Once you have arrived with your awareness in the body, in your seat, you are at ease, or you've changed your position to be at ease, now calling to mind the image of a mountain. Perhaps a familiar one. A mountain whose image has been captured in your memory. Or a completely original, imagined creation that represents all a mountain can be. Taking a moment to envision the mountain's overall form. Single or many peaked. And whether it's glacier topped or covered in snow or forested, appreciating the beauty, strength, and dignity the mountain embodies.
Once this image is established, letting the sense of becoming the mountain develop. mountain and body becoming one. Legs and pelvis becoming mountains sturdy base, firmly rooted in the earth crust. Spine becoming mountain's axis. Torso and arms, the sloping mountainside. Head and shoulders, the majestic peak. <coughs> the mountain's enduring quality becoming that of the body. while sitting in mountain stillness. Allowing the surrounding world to shift and change. With sunrise, the dawn's soft light moving across the mountain's face. Burning the dew of its lower slopes. Shadows shifting and changing while the sun is moving higher in the sky. mountain streams being refreshed by the day's new glacial melt. Animals moving into the meadows to enjoy the forage and the sun's warmth. And in this manner, morning shifting into midday, day into moonlit night.
and night into day. throughout the shifting cycles. Mountain sitting unmoved. Beautiful and stable. Beauty. Through the seasons too, the mountain and yours, while spring flowers are giving way to summer lushness and heat. mountain is bearing witness soon the greens of summer foliage are surrendering into the full palette of brilliant yellows reds and oranges and muted shades of brown weather is chilling toward fall Daylight hours are shortening. And perhaps rain ice. And snow. are pelting the mountain. Perhaps birds and animals are migrating. Moving from high meadows to protected valleys. Perhaps those visiting the mountain are judging it based on the pleasant weather or the good views. Yet the mountain remains unaffected by such judgments. Mountain sits calmly in its majesty, abiding all change. Now sitting in your own mountain nature, perhaps receiving from the mountain some of its gifts. Perhaps recognizing the stable and enduring elements within your own being even as all that surrounds is shifting and changing. A 
has the storms, shifting weather, and seasons of your own life move through their rhythms. May the timeless wisdom of the mountain remain close at hand. If you enjoy the mountain, you can stay with it for longer. If you would like to finish your practice with me, we will bring our hands to touch in front of our own heart. Maybe a subtle bow of the head. Perhaps these ideas and qualities of the mountain felt calming, grounding. In that case, I would ask you to just take this image of the mountain with you. And whenever is required, tapping back into these energies and qualities. A mountain doesn't necessarily have to sit either. It could be a standing position in which you envision these qualities that you might need at the time. Thank you for joining me in the mountain meditation. I hope you enjoyed this practice and maybe would like to repeat it. <laughs> See you again soon.